Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to the only NBA 2K channel with no clickbait and lives the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. As I always say, I got your back. To the channel game, you guys already know I got your back. This build right here marks my 313th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am by far the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 313 builds this year only prove that fact. This right here is LaMelo Ball's playmaking shot creator exact build. He is rather unique as well. Watch this. Now, we're going to go with the two-thirds shooting, the one-fourth finishing, the one-eighth playmaking, and the one-eighth defensive skill breakdown pie chart. Now, we're going to go with the pure speed. And you already know we got the 10. Now, nothing on this close shot, but we're going to go all the way up on this driving layup. All the way up on this driving dunk. Now, standing dunk, we just want to bring that to 38. Then we're going to go all the way up on this post hook. That's going to give him 12 finishing. Now his mid-range, we're going to go all the way up. His three-pointer, we're going to go all the way up as well. Nothing on his free throw, nothing on his post fade. Now his pass accuracy, we're going to go all the way up. We're going to go all the way up on his ball handle. And on his post control, we're just going to bring that to 44. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about by when I said, and you know we got the 10, that is the slasher takeover that I'm referring to. And it is the most powerful takeover in the game. When you think about what I'm about to tell you is this. The other takeovers you can actually do from the seat of your chair. Now, the one thing about the slasher takeover, it affects three categories on the build. It's going to affect your. It's going to give you a ten of your physicals, a ten of your shooting, a five of your. I mean, a ten of your finishing, a five of your shooting, a ten to your ball handle. So that's ten in finishing, ten uh, physicals, and ten to your ball handle. That's three categories that the slasher takeover does affect. Now, we're going to go all the way up on your steel, and that's in a positive way, matter of fact. Now, we're going to go all the way up. Well, we're missing something, and I don't know what it is, because this is a lot. All right. Hold on, folks. Oh, that's right. We're going to go all the way up on your block. I'm tripping. And now, we're going to go up on the defense rebound. That's going to give him six total badges. This build right here has 49 total badges. It's a bad man. I like this build a lot. 49 total badges on the build. Now we're going to keep them. We're going to go ahead and keep them solid. We're going to bring them up to 6.5. Now we're going to drop them all the way to 179. Reason why? Reason being because that's as high as you can go without losing any uh, acceler acceleration or speed. And he is at the point guard position. So you want them fast as possible. And if you go here, that's too big of a gap. Uh, like if he was to go up. The 182, that's too big of a gap between the acceleration and the speed. So 179 where you want is where you want to go. Now, you would think I'll kick the wingspan out, but wrong. I'm going to pull the wingspan back all the way to 77.0. Now, at 99 overall, like I said before about the slash of takeover, you, you're going to get the 10 of your physicals, a 10 of your finishing, a 5 of your shooting, a 10 of your ball handle. You see his ball handle already. He's going to be able to speed boost as well. But you're going to get a fire of pass accuracy, a fire of post control, and then a fire of your defensive rebounding whenever you ignite it. But at 99 overall, once you ignite the slash and take over on this LaMelo ball, playmaking shot creator, the numbers are astronomical. Now, at 99 overall, you're going to, even though we didn't put anything on, we're going to recite it because it is pretty high. You're going to have a close shot of 65. And when you ignite the slash and take over 99 overall, that's going to be a 75. So that's a good close shot. Now, you're driving layup. You're going to be able to get Kyrie Irving's um, layup package with this build. But you're going to have a driving layup of 88 and 99 overall. And when you ignite the slash and take over, that's going to be a... Excuse me, that's going to be a 98. Now your driving dunk will be a 76. So you're going to be able to get DeMar Rosen's dunk package, Draymond Green, and, and be able to create a, an assortment of other dunks. But at 99 overall, when you ignite the size to take over, that's going to be an 86 driving dunk. Your standing dunk will be a 46 and 99 overall. And when you ignite the size to take over, that is going to be a 56. And then you're going to have a great post hook of 86 and 99 overall. So you could back down the little 
your um, smaller defender and hit him with a post hook. But you're going to have a post hook of 86 and 99 overall, and when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 96. Now, look at your mid-range jumper. You're going to have a mid-range of 93 and 99 overall, so your light's out. I mean, yes, of 93 and 99 overall, and when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 98. And then you're going to have a 91 three-point shot at 99 overall, and when you ignite the slash or takeover, that's going to be a 96. This boy is a flat-out superstar stud build. Now, we didn't put anything on the free throw, but your free throw will be decent because you're going to have a 66 free throw at 99 overall, and when you ignite the slash or takeover, that's going to be a 71. So you will be able to count on making that um, free throw shot now your pass accuracy will be at 83 at 99 overall and when you ignite the size to take over that's going to be at 88 now look at your ball handle because you're already a dribble god you're already going to be able to get signature dribble combination moves from nba players i would highly recommend that you go with steve francis's i'm not steve francis i mean steve uh What's his name? Oh, my God. Steve Nash. That's right. Now, I re highly recommend that you use Steve Nash's uh, ball handle with this build. But at 99 overall, you're going to have an 84 ball handle. And when you ignite the slash to take over 99 overall, that's going to be a 94. So this build is going to do a lot of damage. You're going to be able to speed boost with this build easily. Now, your post control will be and you're going to be able to speed boost with this build well before you get to uh 99 overall but your post control will be a 49 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 54. now your per, um perimeter defense will be a 78 and 99 and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 83. your lateral quickness will be a 75 and at 99 overall when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 80. now look at your steal because you're going to have an 80 still so you at 99 overall so you are you're going to be a pickpocket and when you ignite the slash to take over 99 overall, that's going to be at 85. You're even going to have a block. So you're going to be able to get blocks. You're going to be able to get like two to three blocks guaranteed a game. But you're going to have a block of 52 at 99 overall. And when you ignite the slash to take over, that will be a 57. Even on your offensive rebound, you got a nice offensive rebound with this build. You know, you say that's not nice. It's, it's a nice offensive rebound for a guard that isn't really expected to go in and grab offensive rebounds, but you will be able to crash the boards because you're going to have a nice vertical. But your offensive rebound will be a 34 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be a 39. Now, your defensive rebound will be a 65 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, 99 overall, that's going to be a 70. Now, the great thing about the build is the slash to take over and what it's going to be able to do for you and your build because you're going to get an 18-point jump. And there's four ways to get the fours. One way is the Gatorade facility, winning the NBA championship, level, get, reaching level 40, and getting the 99 overall, as we all know. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a speed of 85, I mean, of 95 and an acceleration of 92. When you ignite the slash to take over at 99 overall, your speed will go over the cap of 99 and will be 105, and your acceleration will go over the cap of 99 and will be 102. Now, you're going to have a vertical of 81 at 99 overall, and when you ignite the slash to take over, that will be a 91. This build is sick for a playmaker shot creator. Now, your strength will be a 53. And when your knight decides to take over at 99 overall, that is going to be a 63. This boy right here is unique. Mm. And there we have it, the slash to take over. Like I said, you can play make from the seat of your chair. You can use the R3 shot stick. And you can say, yo, I'm open in the corner. That's what these takeovers do. And they only affect one category on the build in a positive light. This one right here just shoots the build over the top. Slash a takeover, baby. And there you have it. LaMelo, boss, exact build for playmaking shot creator. That you're only going to find this archetype for this type of build here at Ant Lives the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. So what I'm going to do right now is test this build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you guys why I placed the badges if I were to use this build. Yeah, he's nice. 12 playmake, I mean 12 finishing, 16 shooting, 15 playmaking, 6 defensive. Ooh, this is an all-around playmaking shot career. This boy right here is dangerous. All right, and he is a demigod, guaranteed. Now, of course, unstrippable. Limitless takeoff. We're not worried about that because we do not have the uh, 
standing dunk. But we're going to go with Giant Slayer and Fearless Finisher for sure. I got 16. Sniper, Hall of Fame, Mismatch Expert, Blinders. I do have a ball handle, so stop and pop. Yes, this is a great, this, whew, I don't know what they're going to do with you with this one here. Now, I got 15 playmaking, right? Unpluckable, hyperdrive, handles for days, quick chain. Mm. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to take handles for days off. I'm going to go with downhill. He already has speed, so if you don't want downhill, you can go for handles for days you could go to stop and pop because off the dribble, stop and pop. So I mean, stop and go. That's nasty too. And then anchor breaker. You can always go here. But I'm going to go ahead and keep him. I want him in full mode speed. I don't really want to be pretty with him. I want to get to point A to point B as fast as I can. Now, I got six defensive badges. I'm going to go Intimidator. I'm going to go with. Silver clamps, and then I'm going to go with chase down artists. I'm going to get that block. I'm going to get that block for sure with this build. And there you have it, Lamelo Ball's exact build. Playmaking shot creator with 12 finishing, 16 shooting, 15 playmaking, and six defensive badges. Like I said earlier, when it, when we found out what the build was, you will not find this archetype for this build nowhere else but here at Ant Lives the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. As I always say, I got your back. This is 313 for y'all at the channel gang. Thank you guys for your support. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world, and I am by far the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen, and 313 builds this year only proved that fact, and without anything further being said, I am out.